Have you ever wondered from where do witches get their sorcerer's ball? Well, in case you are interested in finding out, you're in luck. This video brings you the recipe of how to make your own sorcerer's ball. But first, let me share a secret with you. It's not magic, it's chemistry. So let's move on to making a sorcerer's ball. We will require the following ingredients. Glycerine Distilled water Soap solution Colors and dry ice in a bowl. Now we are all set. So let's make our first sorcerer's ball. First, we need to make our solution. For this, we add 4 ml of soap solution to 100 ml of glycerine and stir it well using the glass rod. Add a small amount of distilled water to make the solution a bit dilute. After adding the distilled water, stir the solution well. Dip the cloth in the solution and keep it aside. Add the distilled water in the dry ice container till you observe a good amount of smoke. Slide the cloth over the container till a bubble forms. Your sorcerer's ball is now ready. You may ask a question like, will I be successful in the future? Once you have been answered, the ball disintegrates, taking along with it your questions and secrets. It was pretty interesting, wasn't it? But let's discuss its chemistry. When you drop a piece of dry ice in a bowl of water, the gas that you see is a combination of carbon dioxide and water vapor. So, the gas that you see is actually a cloud of tiny water droplets. The thin layer of soap film stretched across the rim of the bowl traps the expanding cloud to create a giant bubble. As the particles grow, they exert more pressure on the thin soap film and when the pressure exceeds the threshold, the bubble bursts. Now you can always get creative with your experiments. These are some ways and you should definitely try more. I hope this video got you more interested in chemistry and note, always do your experiments carefully. Always wear goggles, gloves and lab coat while conducting your experiment. Thank you for watching.